What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out 10 stale WWE superstars who desperately need a new gimmick. Um, there are some wrestlers right now that definitely need some type of fresh up to their gimmick. Maybe it's gotten, uh, you know, it's run its course. Not every time, or I wouldn't say every time, but wrestlers at some point, character wise, have to switch it up, have to change it up because you don't want it to get stagnant. You don't want it to get stale, you know, and especially nowadays with the attention span being so shorter with audiences now, you kind of want to be able to freshen it up in some sense or some sort of uh, prime example and maybe this person will be on this list um austin theory uh he just recently lost the united states championship his united states championship run hasn't really been that memorable i think they need to switch up his character change give him something uh fresh to start with i don't know if that means turning him into a baby face i know some people want to see him as a baby face so i don't know if that could be the solution but at the same time you got to give him a, a substantial feud and do something with his character that could potentially get people to care that's really the thing because i think he can he's a fantastic worker in the ring he can go in the ring it's just making people actually care about him that is the goal that's sometimes the hardest goal in keeping people wanting to see more of him so he definitely does need something to happen to his character his gimmick because right now it's not working so and there's some other people i'm sure that should be on this list maybe they will be let's check it out appreciate all love and support we're gonna get right into this one man a wrestler's gimmick is the key to their success. It's hard to imagine iconic wrestlers such as The Undertaker, Kane, Triple H or Shawn Michaels having substantial success without their trademark gimmick and characteristics. For sure, for sure. Unfortunately, in WWE currently, there are several gimmicks which are falling flat and need a massive overhaul. Uh, Kane Cross is one of those talent, individuals that is may be on this list. From reaching the next level and a new gimmick is needed as soon as possible. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 WWE wrestlers who desperately need a new gimmick. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. For also sure. check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10, Nikki Cross. In the summer of 2021, Nikki Cross became Nikki Ash on WWE programming. The superhero persona was one that Cross pitched directly to Vince McMahon, and McMahon was so impressed with Cross's passion for the gimmick that he awarded her with the Money in the Bank briefcase and a crazy. subsequent Raw Women's title reign. The gimmick was fun, but it lacked anything substantial that would make it last for more than a few months. Yeah. Fans often compare that persona to that of the Hurricane, but Shane Helms made the character work by adding multiple elements to the superhero. In October 2022, Cross would revert back to her unhinged persona that was present during a time in NXT, but mm -hmm. said later Cross receiving no notable feuds on Raw or SmackDown. Cross Which I was hoping they were going to capitalize on, because I'm glad they got rid of the superhero gimmick. It kind of got stale. They were teasing her finally getting rid of that gimmick or whatnot. And then they, they haven't really capitalized on the, the unhinged individual. They haven't capitalized on that at all honestly i don't know what they're doing with her so i don't know this is just lingering around and is often found on wwe main event now she does have a ton to offer the women's division and wwe needs to rework her gimmick and integrate her back into the roster number nine the viking raiders the in fact where has she been i haven't seen her a while on television i saw like some backstage segments she's not really featured on television as much so i don't know Viking Raiders managed to get themselves over in NXT and this was mainly due to their high impact offense in matches. When the two debuted on the main roster, the magic was quickly lost, as mm -hmm. a Viking gimmick isn't at the top of fans' wish list, especially in 2023. The two members of the Viking Raiders have a lot of talent, there's no denying that, but the gimmick falls flat upon execution. The two receive no reaction on WWE television and it doesn't matter if they are a babyface or a heel, the reaction never changes. WWE need to utilize Eric and Ivar as they have a lot to offer the tag they division, do. but unfortunately their current gimmick simply doesn't work. Here's the thing, I don't know, man. It's 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 not that it doesn't work. Is I, I think it could, but it's like anytime they get a win, they end up losing anyway. So it's like they don't really win feuds too often. 
Like I, I think it could work, but I get, I get how some people be like, oh, it's kind of, it's kind of overplayed. I don't know if giving them a whole new gimmick would make anything better because they have to win feuds and win matches, and and right now they just come off as guys that can win one week and then lose the next week. You know what I'm saying? So they don't they don't come off as intimidating. You know, even having her as be a, being Valhalla or whatever, like it it don't come off. Like, all oh, these guys are they're creepy, they're scary. Got to watch out for them. No, they may beat you one week, but next week they may end up losing to the same people they just beat. So I don't know. They they got to give them some type of momentum more than a character change. I think it could work with them still being this vi these Vikings, but I think they need to get some momentum under them. Number eight, Raquel Rodriguez. Since being called up to the main roster, it's been made perfectly clear that WWE see Raquel Rodriguez as one of the future stars of the women's mm -hmm. division. The former NXT Women's Champion has been presented well, but there's one major hurdle in her ascending to the top of WWE, and that's her gimmick. Rodriguez's gimmick is literally that she's strong and imposing, but yeah. that isn't enough. She needs to build a connection with the fans, and her mm -hmm. current gimmick isn't helping her achieve this. Wrestlers need character and substance, and whilst Rodriguez in all likelihood will have a decent career if she keeps up her current gimmick, a complete overhaul is needed if she's going to be a main event worthy presence in the women's division for years. I liked what she was in, in NXT, because I believe at one point she was like a heel in NXT, but a dominant, very strong heel or whatnot. And now they obviously have her as this smiley, bubbled up, well, like bubbly baby face that's strong. But at the same time, she needs to not be smiling as much. She needs to be out there kicking ass and still be a baby face. You can still, or, you know, have her be like the anti-hero in a sense. And I like what they're doing with her recently with Rhea. Because she been attacked by Rhea. She's not smiling no more. You know, uh, Liv Morgan, her partner, got attacked by Rhea, putting on the shelf, put on the shelf by Rhea. So she recently attacked her on Monday Night Raw. And I like that aggression. That's what we need more of. I, I I want Raquel to be out there giving out the beats. You know, she don't have to smile all the time. That's I think that's kind of hurting. So if they tweaked her gimmick just a little bit to be more serious, the antithesis, I think I said that right, antithesis of Rhea, but not a squeaky clean, bubbly baby face that's always smiling and happy to be there. No, someone that's there to kick ass. And hopefully this feud could really elevate her in that direction. It's to come. Number seven, Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle is one of the finest workers on the entire WWE roster. He's had a great run on the main roster and his partnership with Randy Orton received widespread praise for bringing the best out of both men. However, since the Viper has been out of action with a back injury, Riddle has struggled to find a meaningful place on the card. They've attempted to give Riddle substantial feuds. And he's feuded with the likes of Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins and Gunther, but Riddle's character work has been holding him back. It wouldn't be too controversial to state that Riddle's babyface persona has run its course and WWE need to modify his character sooner rather than later. I don't know if him being a heel would even work. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. It it possibly could, but he, he's just got that chill bro vibe. So I don't know if that will work, to be honest with you. I, I don't know changing him to be a heel per se. Maybe I I think what would be cool, I think you can still have him be the chill bro guy, but be more serious. Like when he was feuding with Seth, he was serious. That was the most I actually cared about Matt Riddle. I'm being honest with you. Outside of him being teamed up with Randy Orton, which was pretty cool to see their, their chemistry, Randy being more of the straight, serious guy and, and Riddle being more chill and then start rubbing off on Randy. I, I like that, but obviously Randy is out. So what I would have them do, have him be serious. Have him be a legit badass that can kick your ass, but he's like, he's relaxed. But when he's not relaxed, when he gets in that ring, I'm straight business. I'm going to beat the crap out of you. And then when I get out the ring, I'm chill, bro. You know, I, I can appreciate that. Like I said, the most outside of the ring, him teaming up with Randy, when he was actually feuding with Seth and he was like, I'm going to F you up. I'm going to mess you up, Seth. That's the riddle I like. The riddle that's out there not joking around. He can have his jokes here and there, but I want him to be a little bit more serious. So I think they could do that. Many fans are speculating that Orton may turn on Riddle when he eventually returns. And whilst an Orton versus Riddle feud would be welcomed, 
WWE may wish to shake things up by having Riddle be the one to disintegrate the friendship. That Number could be six, cool if, they, Butch, if he does come back. Butch is one of the greatest wrestlers to come out of the oh, UK. Yeah. Whilst his main roster run hasn't been exactly a disaster, the Butch character has evidently run its natural Please course. Please get him Butch out of that. He's a great man. talent who has for great sure. presence in the ring for his size, but his work as Pete Dunne was considerably better. And Without a doubt. to see Dunne return to the bruiserweight persona. His work I alongside Seamus do. and Rich Holland and the Brawling Brutes has been decent, but Butch needs to be utilized more on TV. And yes. a gimmick change or a simple reversion to the Bruiserweight character may be a smart option for WWE to implement. I hope they do. Number five, Dolph Ziggler. Man, I don't even... Dolph's a lost cause, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think... There's no character change that would help Dolph. You want to know why? Because at the end of the day, they're not going to push him. This is as far as it goes. He has reached his ceiling. That's it. Doesn't matter what they do with him. Turn him heel. Turn him babyface. It don't matter. Turn him in a tweener. It doesn't matter. Dolph is done. I don't care. It sucks to say that because I like Dolph as a wrestler. Think he's fantastic in the ring. But WWE has let us know time and time again. It doesn't matter. This is as far as Dolph as will ever get for you guys. So over 15 years, Dolph Ziggler has been a fan favorite amongst fans. However, Ziggler is at a point of his career where he isn't going to be pushed into the main event scene unless he's doing something drastic. His gimmick seems to still be a mix of his classic show-off persona as well as his infamous It Should Have Been Me character, <laughs> but the fans are me. at a point of disconnection with the character. They love Ziggler and love his in-ring work, but they have nothing to root for when it comes to a character like that I is just handsome and stale. Throughout his career, Ziggler has shown time and time again that he has the ability to deliver exceptional character work. His work with Rey Mysterio, The Miz, and even John Cena all highlighted that Ziggler is a big deal and can truly bring it when the time comes. Number 4. Johnny Gargano When Johnny Gargano uh. returned to WWE, fans hoped that Triple H would use Gargano in a similar manner to how he was used in NXT. Unfortunately, Team Mobile DIY. That's it. Team, not DIY, but you know, uh, Tommaso Ciampa make DIY. You can have them be heels if you want to. Him solo right now, it's not working. It's not. And maybe you can say maybe he's been give, haven't been given a chance, but people haven't been as interested. So team them up right now. Make people interested, and then you can go from there. I think that that could be a a, a possible solution. Late that hasn't happened in any capacity. Whilst he's had some standout moments, he's just been lingering around the red brand with nothing substantial or compelling to do. It wouldn't be a controversial argument to state that Gargona is one of the finest workers in all of WWE, For sure. but is this enough in 2023 to warrant a push? What he needs with immediate effect is a gimmick overhaul. His generic gimmick of being an underdog babyface is failing to connect working. with the audience and we know based on his work in NXT that he can deliver gripping character work both as a babyface or a heel. WWE's approach could be to reform the villainous stable known as The Way, which would allow Gargano as well as other talents they such could as do Candice LeRae and Dexter Lumis to thrive, so it would be a huge opportunity for WWE. Number 3. The New Day mm. There's no doubt about it, The New Day are one of the most successful stables in WWE history. Without the a group doubt. have been together for almost a decade, but over the past few years, the stable just feels stagnant. Whilst each member of the group is immensely talented, something is missing from the group currently and it could be time for WWE to look to change their gimmick as a stable. Perhaps the group doesn't need a drastic overhaul, but a heel turn or a slight tweak into a more serious side may benefit the longevity of the group. A heel turn at this stage will make sense, as the group do have grievances with the WWE, such as Kofi mm -hmm. Kingston not getting another shot at the title in 2019, that would maybe be not a good... getting a WWE title rematch in 2022, yeah. and Xavier Woods maybe being continuously overlooked. This could be an excellent storyline on TV, is, and no doubt the three members of the faction would be up for the challenge. Number That could work. Granted, we don't know Big E's situation, so that's, that's a whole nother... Um... That's a whole nother, like, can of worms, you know. We don't even know if he's able to even come back. But I do like the idea he proposed, the grievances they felt in WWE. You know, how, you know, Xavier Woods was overlooked and he was king of the ring. He won king of the ring tournament. How uh, Big E was overlooked um, in the WWE Championship. He got pinned. He never even got a chance to fight for the title again. How Kofi Kingston... He didn't even get a chance to fight for the title again. 
like how they all got overlooked, but they've been some of the best merch pushers in WWE. They've been some of the best team players in WWE, and they continuously get overlooked. I would like that. Now, you don't even have to turn them heel. Just make them anti-heroes if you want to. Like, we're done taking the bull crap. Anyone gets in our way, we're taking you down. Something like that. Something. I want them to be more serious. I think the, po the positivity stuff has been great. But I want them to get more serious. You know, you can have the goofy stuff every now and then. But a, a more serious New Day would be quite interesting. You know, it would be fresh. But once again, we still don't know what's going to happen with Big E. So. To Austin Theory. WrestleMania 39 was designed to be the biggest night of Austin Theory's career. He would successfully defeat John Cena to retain his US title, and this victory should have catapulted Theory to the next level. For sure. Sadly, since WrestleMania 39, his gimmick has fallen flat, and he seems underdeveloped as a character. Whilst Theory remains someone who WWE clearly sees a bright future in, a new gimmick is needed for Theory to truly shine. Yeah. He has a lot of positive attributes, and he seems to be getting better and better in the ring as the months and years go on. Mm -hmm. Yet he has yet to find that breakout character that screams world champion. Theory did previously have a gimmick that was similar to the former gimmick of Tyler Breeze, but WWE have pushed this aside in favor of, of a more serious approach, which sadly at the present time isn't working. And number one. Yeah, I just said this. He, he obviously should be on this list. Once again, he lost the United States Championship. So maybe they do. They switch. They got to switch him up now. They got to switch him up now. Apparently on Twitter, he had posted a story of him being in like one of these wrestling documentaries on how he got into wrestling and how he fell in love with wrestling. And he uh, posted it on his IG story recently. Um, So maybe that could be a possible turn. Just lost to Ray Mysterio. Maybe that could be a possible babyface turn. Once again, WWE... They're, they're not even really good at booking baby faces, to be honest with you. So I don't know if that's going to be a better thing. But I will say this. If they're able to make it make sense and it gets people's attention, it could work. But once again, you got to be able to find that balance of being able to get people invested. And it depends on what would be his feud going forward, too. So I don't know if a baby face turn would be the right answer. But... It's a possibility. We'll see what they do. They had to do something with them. One, Charlotte Flair. Ever since Charlotte Flair arrived in WWE, she's established herself as a top female talent. She looks so different Her accomplishments there. speak for themselves. <laughs> she looks but so one different thing that there. is always holding Flair back is a lack of evolution. From where she is, how Other she looks now. Other top women such as Becky Lynch and Bayley have delivered various compelling characters over the past decade. And this has allowed their persona to never get stale and in turn show the fans that they are willing to take risks. Flair has had the same gimmick for her entire run in WWE, and there yeah. seems no signs that WWE want to change it. One of the criticisms often directed at Flair is that she portrays the same character, and it doesn't matter if she's babyface or a heel, as the elements of the gimmick remain intact no matter what. Yeah. Flair is always going to be a talent that has exceptional matches, but Flair introducing the world to a new side of her would be a smart move, and it would certainly reduce the criticism that gets directed towards her. But there you have it, folks. I'm the answer to it. I, with you, I don't think it would reduce the criticism because WWE loves a Charlotte Flair. Like she, she is one of the few people that can leave, get married, get engaged, take some months off, come back, and she will be granted a title opportunity. Her in ring work is impressive, but she's one of those people that can do that. So I don't know if, like he said, turning her heel or face will really matter because it all seems the same. I think Flair is a face as we speak right now. She came back as a baby face, but it still comes off as a heel. You know what I'm saying? Like, and when she's a heel, you can interchange it as a baby face if you wanted to. Like, it doesn't really matter. I don't know what they do with her in a sense, because I think people are just still going to feel some type of way because she's WWE's golden girl. So I don't know what they do with her character wise for it to switch up i think charlotte flair is just gonna be charlotte flair like that's that's her name has flair in it that's it that's her gimmick <laughs> she is the daughter of rick flair that's her gimmick i don't think you can change it unless you do I, I don't i don't know i really don't know how you can change that so comment down below let me know 
if there's some other superstars wwe superstars that need some type of gimmick change let me know down below who do you feel like deserve to be on this list and and who do you feel like their gimmick has gotten quite stale over the past few years or however long but i appreciate all the love and support you guys on channel road to 150k and i'm still young to be the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking it with me see you on the next one peace